is it that time of the month? There's nothing worse than asking a woman, is it the time of the month if she's feeling low? Or it is the time of the month and we're on our periods. do have periods like me I've come on today uh, feel bloated gross horrid and also I probably had symptoms two weeks ago or so I suffer from depression anyway but I know how much our hormonal changes in our body as women impact our mental health whether we've got a pre-existing mental health problem or not the hormonal changes in your body aren't something to be shunned or laughed at or mocked and too often they are and for a lot of women they're really really genuine you can feel physically awful when you're having cramps and you're going through your period but also in different points of the menstrual cycle you can mentally feel drained it can cause feelings of anxiety, feelings of depression, or if you already have mental health problems, it can trigger those, or a range of different issues from IBS um, to, as I said, mental illnesses. It's not to be denied a woman's health, and it's so easy to just pass off a woman's mood as, oh, it must be PMS, or you must be on your period. But actually, when we, if we do have a premenstrual syndrome, that often is a lowering of estrogen, which also can signify a lower of serotonin, which is the happy hormone. Um, and so when we have all that low, we're much more likely to feel low. And I think more than ever, we kind of shun off women's health as something unimportant to their mental health, to their physical health. I know women who are totally immobilized by period pains and cramps and just because it's a common thing for women to experience doesn't mean that negates the importance of looking after our mental health but also understanding mental health and not just shunning it off as oh it's the time of the month again it may be the time of the month and there's nothing worse than hearing that or knowing you're going through PMS and actually hearing that as well because those hormonal changes are are valid as well and like I always say with my own depression I genuinely believe that a lot of it is a chemical imbalance in my brain which is why exercise helps me so much even when I'm on my period gentle exercise which is the last thing I feel like today even just moving a little bit was a lot harder than normal and was a lot more lethargic but it is so much better for my soul, for my mind more than anything. It's not just about my body, it's about my mind and keeping as well as possible. And that's where like our daily routines are really important, keeping as well as possible a balanced diet and exercise and sleep. Sleep is something I am working on. Um, but I thought I'd big up the pyjamas today because some days you also do need to rest and recover and again that's when I work with a lot of women and we're doing movement exercises or coaching and we feel so horrid sometimes during our period that it is important to allow yourself rest days it is important to notice if you can different changes in your hormonal cycle for when you might be at your most energetic levels those days it's great to do loads of vlogs and loads of videos and loads of content and then other days you might still do it but you know that you're not your full energy and it's recognizing our energy levels and being kind to ourselves so the next time you ask a woman is it that time of the month yet all i'm saying is don't anyway i'd love to know your experiences um, of menstrual cycles and i know there's a whole other field uh, to go into when i experience menopause because i know that's another um condition that's well and truly stigmatized too. Sending you all so much peace, love and shimmies.